coffee. I might get a, a, a Skype call from my agent, so I might disappear for a second. Um, that happens. Do what you like. <laughs> um, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll just, I've got it on Facebook and Twitch, so I'm just doing it on two devices. Um, Hang on a second. There you go. Right, so if you want to say anything on Facebook, go ahead and um, I'll answer it. I should do anyway. Right, okay. So, it's going to be a sort of graphic y Donald Trump. So, I'm just wondering whether to go the square route, and I think I will. Um, because he's very, he's got a square face, you know. So, although he's gonna be an egg. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no, that's a bit, that's a bit too tight, I think. Oh, hang on a second. What have I done there then? Mm, let me see. So I'll put it on that. Radius, I don't want it that much. I want it about 60, I think. So that's, why can't I see that? I don't think it's got any... That's just a pass, isn't it? Um, hmm. That's strange. Okay. Um, I don't know what I've done wrong there. It's a rectangle tool. There should... What is it? Oh, maybe shape. Yeah, that's where I've gone wrong. Ah, oh, dear. Let's go back and do that again. Yeah, there we are. And he just diddle back the border. And there you go, there's his orange face. <laughs> <clears throat> so it's gonna be very simple, um, sort of flat color. That's what I'm going for. So, uh, and it's you can you can do this um, with like Pantone colours or just colouring in. You, you can you can join in at home uh, and try and draw him if you want, <laughs> because he's quite simple to draw. And I think, as I've said before, I think that's his genius in a way. Is he's um, he's made himself incredibly recognisable. Oh god, come on, I want that colour to be lighter. That's it. No, he's, he's a sort of suntanned badger. <sighs> that looks like him already, to me. Like <laughs> you show that in the street. If this shape was a person, who would that be? And I would say Donald Trump. Right, so I'm, I'm going to make it more um, complicated than that. So don't worry. So little black dots. Set. And I'll just co copy that. Slitty eyes. Um, oh, I think I need to rasterize these shapes actually. Um, these shapes at the moment are vectors, so they don't have any um, pixels in them like a bitmap. So what you need to do, if you want to sort of cut them or crop them, is to turn them into bitmap. You could actually mask them out. I could just sort of show you how to do that, I guess. But I can't be bothered at the moment. I'm that kind of guy. What I want to do is cut it out to 
the shape of uh, the eye. Ugh. What have I done? Hang on a sec. There we go. Looking like him already, and I think eyebrows. Yeah, I, I think uh, when you're designing a cartoon character, <laughs> maybe this is what Donald Trump was thinking. Um, there are identifiable aspects that make that character memorable. Can you think of any great cartoon character like Mickey Mouse? The Simpsons, their hair. I mean you can you can the Simpsons are brilliant because they were designed to be um, recognized in a silhouette. Each silhouette of theirs is different. Now that might not have happen with all the characters but I think it probably does in in The Simpsons you you see a black you know just a black silhouette on a white background obviously and you would be able to tell what that character is or who that character is and I think I think that's what Donald Trump's done <laughs> he has recognized that um, be memorable you need to look ridiculous <laughs> and he's sort of like an earworm got in like stupid people's brains and I'm sorry if you did vote for him in my in my view in my humble view you are stupid. And, you know, that's, that's just a fact, I think. My fact, okay? That's my fact. Uh, right, hang on a sec. Uh, 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 uh. Rasterize, yeah. So I'm rasterizing that shape so I can cut out the hair that's behind it. And. I want this smug, 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 because I think that's, um, I think you can milk, um, if you, if you milk Trump, I think he's got like four or five nipples, um, you get smug juice, um, he just radiates it. Yeah, I'm the best. <laughs> it's probably has his mantra. Looking in the mirror. got white lips so I think that makes him a uh, undead creature of the night that sort of indicates there's no blood in his lips which probably means they're so clasped together because of this this smug attitude of his that uh, all the blood is sort of drained out to his ears I don't know mm. oh lovely coffee right so um, let's just I'll tell you one thing I dislike is dogs wearing coats Greyhounds, that's fine. They they've got no hair, no no fat. So, okay, we bred them badly, just for running, nothing else, and attacking 
having an innate hatred for furry things that run and move. Um, so, okay, you're off the hook. Any really skinny dog with no hair, fine, I understand it. But um, these people in the park with dogs, and it's not particularly cold, with coats on. Now, fur is a coat. They're wearing a coat already, they have a coat. So you put a coat on a coat, and these guys, they don't sweat. The only way they get rid of heat is through their mouths. So, I don't think you're doing them any favours. Oh, I might be getting a call from my agent. Mm -hmm. I might have to disappear in a sec. Hopefully some work. <laughs> That'd be nice. Uh, right, so, the most exercised muscle in Trump is his chin. Because it's ugh, elevated. So um, I'll just do a highlight for that. Hang on a sec. And dimples. And let's do a nose. And actually, looking at it, it's, uh, it's pretty flat, very Norman kind of nose thing going on, very Germanic. It'd be interesting to know genetically <laughs> what it's made of. Mm. Okay. No, let's just move that. So I'll do this on another layer. Getting there, but I'm not. I'm not happy. Oh, hello. He might not actually need a nose. Mm. Not liking it at the moment. Give me a sec. Let's just... Oh yeah, that's, that's okay. Um... See, I want it to look kind of creepy, which I think it is. <laughs> and basically I'm drawing Humpty Trumpty. And he's going to be sitting on a wall of his name. I think it'd be more powerful as a sort of very simple graphic. Like a, you know, a children's nursery rhyme, basically. Um, what level did I put his chin on? Hey, is that it? No, that's his lips. That's his absolute. Uh, yeah, that was that. And ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, I just want to trim off a bit of that. There we go. Right, 
I think the nose needs a bit of modelling, so let's do that. Very shiny. And the actual, so he's got that sort of suntan thing going on. But um, well, I need that to be under the eyes, really. So you notice like it's sort of got a red tint to it. He's got very t yeah, I don't think he's got any eyelashes. Oh yeah, and he's got those blue eyes as well, those wishy washy blue eyes. I think this is the problem is I think people are getting mixed up between reality TV and reality and I don't think they quite realize what they've done if you get a chance check out um, it's called hyper realization uh, no hyper normalization oh I can't remember the the guy who did it is uh, it's a British guy, Adam something, and it's on YouTube, I believe. That and Bitter Lake, but hypernormalization, pretty much what Donald Trump did, which was basically you just tell lies, but you 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 counter, you actually contradict yourself. So people don't quite know where you are, uh, and it's called hypernormalization. And that's why he's a big fan of Putin because Putin, uh, they do that as well. So incredibly weird strategy that makes you question reality. Because if you if you watch something like, uh, have you seen Dark Star? Uh, and in Dark Star, it's very cheap but brilliant sci fi. These uh, space hippies. <laughs> um, they're going around blowing up planets for some reason, don't know why. Not explained. Um, and one of the bombs, and they're, they're sort of smart bombs, uh, decides to, to activate. There's a fault. So one of the guys goes out to try to convince the uh, the bomb that the data is faulty that um, actually what is real and instead of uh, well watch the thing you know watch watch dark star it's very funny um, but that's what they're doing to us they're feeding us so many contradictory bits of data that we are actually questioning what is real and what isn't. One of the techniques was um, Reagan decided they needed a bad guy in the Middle East, and they couldn't they couldn't uh, blame Syria for what was actually going on because that's Syria were doing all the bombing. They blamed Gaddafi, who had nothing to do with anything. So uh, Lockerbie was done by the Syrians. Everyone knew that. <sighs> but it played better that it was Gaddafi because they could actually bomb him without Russia getting annoyed. 
That's what's going on, kids. That's looking pretty good. But yeah, hypernormalization and Bitter Lake. And I can't remember his name, Adam something. But incredible documentaries. That will scare the shit out of you. But I think you need to know what's going on. <laughs> and what has been going on. Uh. It's like America basically through their oil deal with Saudi Arabia um, promoted an incredibly nasty form of Muslimism which then they spread through like Pakistan, Iran. <coughs> oh yeah. All for oil. Mm. That's why we need to be environmentally friendly. You will take the power away from these people because everyone's got the sun, almost, anyway. And of course they know that, so they're paying people off to stop that happening. Right. Anyway. That that is really creepy. That remind <laughs> that reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. I mean those pictures are, are some demented nut jobs creation, which is perfect, this Victorian hellscape. Um, it kind of reflects what was going on in uh, Victorian England at the time. Incredibly rich people, uh, slavery, all that, cabins. People being put up chimneys, kids being put up chimneys. It was um, not a good time to be a kid or a woman. Wow. That's pretty scary. And, um, yeah. I think probably a, let's put, yeah, oh dear, just looking at picture of him and he's, he's got these sort of white wrinkles under his eye. Yeah. It's a bit like a saggy ball sack, I'm sorry. That's disgusting. <sighs> mm. oh dear Trump. Trouble is, if I met him I'd probably be all over him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. So, just... I think drop that and get that colour the same, because that looks a bit tatty. Yeah, that's looking okay. I think possibly... Just a variant in colour, just by the nose, a little shadow. So, um, maybe even a air, bit of airbrushing. Let's have a look. I want to keep it fairly flat, but that might just pop it out a little bit. Oh, hello, wrong colour. Bit much. How's that? Oh yeah, that's nice. I like it. What film's that from? I like it! <coughs> Robocop. Yeah. One of the greatest films ever made. Your move. Creep. 
Um, one of the most quotable films ever. Not as quotable as Die Hard, but um, Die Hard's just so funny. I think almost every sentence in that is quotable. I mean, that's no, no it's not. But this, no shit, lady. Does it sound like I'm ordering pizza? I mean, that's just. Mm. And they forgot that, and they thought people like explosions instead of comedy. Comedy, come on! When I was watching, um, what's it called? Fortitude. What made one of the characters incredibly endearing was there's a carcass of a polar bear on this table. And he jumps up on the table and there's like his colleague nearby and he pushes down on it and it kind of roars and she she jumps and she hits him for it and he was laughing and he said i didn't think that would work instantly you like the guy you think he's fun to be around you know and you want him to be around so you instantly invest in that character and because he's larking about those little 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 moments just build a character and make him endearing or her endearing and that's what I think um, uh, Westworld was missing I think they're all too sort of stoic and serious but it was bloody good um, Right, so I haven't given him any ears and I haven't given him any hair. Maybe I should give him hair. Okay, I'm going to give him some hair just at the back because he's got this mullet thing going on which is just like this. I don't know, it looks a bit like a tortoise shell. But I might take it. If it doesn't work, I'll just remove it. okay I might just darken it slightly just a little bit yeah so I'm wondering if he does need trousers on that doesn't look too bad actually I'm pretty pleased with that um, what I might do just to emphasize the hair is just put a little shadow, little, little, little shadow. Uh, at about 20%, 15%, 15% does it, that's a bit big. There you go. Barely perceive it, but it just, just lifts it. Yeah. I'm quite happy with that. What if I can zoom that in? Can I zoom that in? No, I can't. Okay. Well, I hope you're seeing it okay, Facebook people. Uh, right, so. I'm happy with the face. So what I'm going to do is... What I'm doing is I'm putting it in its own little folder. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll save it. So I'll tell people to save all the time. I keep forgetting to do it myself. So I will save this. Uh, hang on a second. Into, and this is going to be a t-shirt design. So I haven't been trumped I'm going to be opening a new t-shirt shop soon. Humpty shop, I'll call it. Um, I'll let you know about that as soon as it as soon as it happens. There's going to be lots of sort of political uh, stuff, but also just silly little T-shirts and things. Um, yeah, looking forward to that. But I'm just building a little library, and I thought Humpty Trumpty, uh, you know, 
kind of works, doesn't it? So um, I think people will like that. That's too big. Mm -hmm. No, that's too big too. So I'm just doing a belt buckle. Transform it down and let me see what am I going to do? Um, I think. What I've done is I've marqueed off the actual Humpty Trumpty, and I want it to be pretty flat um, oh, I know. Mm. I don't know. does that work or should it be rounded I wonder what it looked like round. If I do, hang on a sec. Select, transform, select, shom. Should ah okay yeah 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 right what am I doing I'm doing alt so I just want to get rid of that bottom bit no that's not doing it I just have my head in this right so that should get rid of the bottom just oh. Yeah. Oh, oh! I see what I've done. Hang on a sec. Right. Do that. Yeah. Hmm. That or or yeah. It does look like egg-like, doesn't it? It just sort of finishes off the egg look. Um, hmm, interesting, Mr. Bond. Uh, yeah, I think it probably looks better like that rather than that. Okay, all right. Um, don't know though, I like him square. So hang on a sec, let's delete that. Oh gosh, what have I done? I've deleted a whole layer. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Um, I mean to, yeah. I've still deleted a whole layer. Delete layer mask. Right. Okay, I'm going to stick with this, I think. Yeah, so let's go, let's go back. All right, yep, yeah, all right, sorry about that. 
normal service will resume. Um, but yeah, it's all sort of isometric. Mm -hmm. Isometric. coming off. I wonder where though. I think from the side. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll do it from the side, I think. But do it that colour, you idiot! I think that looks good. What I'll do is I will copy that, flip horizontal and stick it there and then what this needs is a little shade, a little bit of shading, right, lip of the trousers and it probably needs that as well on the belt just to pop it out a little bit uh, yep and then Right, um, yeah, and his belt buckle needs a bit of like, highlights on it and things. His belt buckle. <laughs> Just seems like he's a real person. This weird character. Ay, 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 ay. There we go. Now that just pops that out slightly and again I think just a smidgen of airbrushing just to just give it a little bit of shape but we don't want to too much. Do we? Oh hello. That's, oh hang on what have I done? Oh poo. Hang on a sec. I was doing it on the belt buckle le level and uh, I don't want it on the belt it gets um, tarnished. So, um, okay. And little feet. Oh, I'm going to have to have lunch soon. Yo, 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 yo. Tiny little feet. Little black shoes. With a gold buckle. I think. Just feeling it. Gold buckle. I bet he's got a wardrobe full of shoes with little gold buckles on. <sighs> yeah. Stands to reason, doesn't it? creepy so what I'll do is um, yeah, I've stuck him all in one layer see look bing this is there's loads of levels and things and what I'll also do is I will save it I'll save 
Um, I'm going to do another copy of him because I think he's a bit big, so I'm going to make him slightly smaller. That's the tra transform tool. But you look, I've got I've got that to refer back to if I want it. And then written large uh, is Humpty. Ooh, that's a weird title. Kablam, that is. Didn't know I had it on that. I don't want it on that. I want it some. I want uh, a thick sort of typeface. I'll, I'll just write it for now, and then we'll, we'll look. Humpty. Oh, Dumpty. Humpty Trumpty. Trump. T. Uh, and let's do that seventy-two for now. So let's look at uh, typefaces, and I think damaged probably a good one or it might have to be something like impact Humpty Trumpty I don't think that's close enough but you can let's see it's I do like the typeface so that's how close I want it you can actually make the lettering closer together uh, I think it's this one let's go for 50 Doing it or oh no, I think that's just squishing it, isn't it? Um, oh, which one is it? I don't usually. Yeah, that's right. Layer properties. Um, oh, it's this one, I think. So let's go. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So it's minus ten. Let's try minus twenty-five. So it's really bunching up. Oh no, it's a bit too much. So let's go minus 20, shall we? 25. Humpty Trumpty. Humpty Trumpty. Just, it's a bit irregular, isn't it? Um. Oh, Aardvark Bold. So the impact is good, but it's a bit boring. Um, <laughs> I think damage is okay. Stick with that for now. Um, And yeah, I think it probably needs a sort of brick kind of wall thing going on. So let's quickly do that. Um, so I'm going to make a brick wall pattern quite quickly. Let's hope I do it quite quickly. Um, And if you look at bricks, they're all sort of different colours. That's what makes them interesting when you look at them. I think they do it on purpose. Brick layers are artisans. They know what they're doing. That should be great if they did know what they were doing and they had different coloured bricks, so it'd be like pixels. And they could they could do like faces looking at you. <laughs> oh man, that'd be brilliant. Um, yeah, if I was president, I'd make bricklayers. 
do these sort of god faces or something. I don't know. What I'm something that looks interesting. Yeah, you could do all sorts of art, couldn't you? Because basically, what you have is um, pixelization, don't you? Yeah. Sort of slightly orangey one. your own <coughs> you just copy it move it along Ooh, hello. Uh, like so let's just move that oh the thumbs out I'm just doubling up and it, you soon have a brick wall. Look at that. Round of applause, please. Uh, thank you. So, uh, sort of brick wall thing, then Humpty Trumpty. Humpty Trumpty. Yes, it is Humpty Trumpty. Humpty Trumpty on the top, and then Humpty Trumpty. And I'll tell you what, I might just make it slightly transparent. So you can see the brick wall behind it. Yeah. Oh yeah. That looks pretty good actually. <laughs> Better than I imagined. And then at the bottom. Uh, oh hello. What have I done there? Just yeah. at the bottom. Built a shit wall. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty built a shit wall. And that will be going on the bottom like that and again I'll just sort of knock that back a bit and I think I will just put a little bit of airbrush um, on that yeah about a thousand and that just pops it out a little bit and then a little bit of weight like that. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. And there's Humpty Trumpty. Um, might just put a little circular shadow underneath him. Don't know if it will help or not. But yeah, so this will be part of the uh, cartoon range. And I don't know if I need a colour behind him. Shall I? Shall I? Shall I? Mm. Okay, I'll just quickly put in a, oh, maybe a little circle of blue. That, yeah, I mean, that kind of helps, I think. Right, well, that's me done, I think. I'm going to have my lunch. I hope you're all well, and um, I'll see you later. I don't know if you can see that very well, actually. Oh, it's that bloody sun. I'll work out how to do this better. Anyway, speak to you soon. Uh, yeah. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>